Hello friends, in this lecture what I will try to do basically is understand the shape of the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for a uniformly distributed loading system. For example, if this is my beam and that is AB and I have some kind of a uniformly distributed loading system of W intensity of load. The reactions are basically 10 WL by 2 and WL by 2 and we see that between A and B there is some kind of a uniform loading pattern. So therefore we can take out any cross section and if we can find the bending moment diagram, bending moment and shear force equation at that cross section, we can utilize that equation for any point within AB. And let us cut a cross section at C which is at a distance of X from A suppose and the shear force and the bending moment at that cross section is essentially Vx and Mx. So let us isolate this body AC and try to draw it as a free body diagram. Then we have this is equal to WL by 2, uh, this is equal to WX, this is equal to X by 2, this is Vx and this is Mx. So therefore Vx is a downward force, so this is equal to WL by 2 minus Wx. A w L by 2 minus X and the bending moment MX will be essentially equal to W L by 2 into X minus WX that is this into X by 2. So essentially it will be equal to WX by 2 L minus X. So this is my shear force equation, this is my bending moment equation. And for any value of x, if I put x here, I can get the measure of the bending moment and the shear force. Now, to draw the shear force diagram, let us utilize this equation. Let us utilize this relation rather. Now, w is equal to, w is having some sort of a constant value here. Because it's a uniformly distributed loading system. As such, v will be some kind of a straight line. And as w has, is having a constant value apart from 0, it, because it is of a definite intensity of load obviously so therefore V must be a straight line with some kind of a slope right and essentially therefore I can draw the shear force pretty easily uh, at x is equal to 0 I have Vx to be equal to WL by 2 so a positive value of shear force at x is equal to 0 at x is equal to L by 2 I have 0 value of shear force at x is equal to L it's equal to minus WL by 2 or a negative value of the shear force. And if I join these three points, basically, I get a measure of the shear force diagram. Essentially, here it will be equal to WL by 2. Here it will be equal to WL by 2. This will be my negative value. This will be my positive value. From a study of the shear force diagram, it's pretty easy to understand that whenever there is a uniformly distributed loading system, as W is equal to constant, V will be a straight line. Right, and the slope of this uh, shear force diagram is essentially given as what we can write this Vx in terms of WL by 2 minus Wx. This corresponds to this equation y is equal to mx plus c, and c is the suppose the intercept that is WL by 2, and m that is the slope is equal to minus w. Right, so the slope is equal to minus w, right, and x, as we all know, we can find out. So this is, uh, this is my shear force diagram. Now, we know also that dm by dx is nothing but is equal to v. That is, the slope of the bending moment diagram essentially gives us the measure of the shear force. Now, if the shear force is a straight line function of x, then obviously, the bending moment will be some kind of a parabolic function, right. So, from A to B, I will have some kind of a parabolic function of the bending moment. My first observation, it is parabolic. Now, we see that between A and C, we have some kind of a positive value of shear force. And the shear force has, is some kind of a straight line. That essentially means that the, the, the positive value of shear force from A to C is decreasing. That is... The slope of the bending moment